guys welcome today is just a quick video on talking about storage of this beautiful stuff so our cricket is the most amazing hobby ever I love using my cricket however it takes lots of different colors and different types of vinyl to do fun projects so I just wanted to talk about ways to store your Cricut vinyl. So for me, I have three different things that I use that I just wanted to share. So the first thing I wanted to say is when I hang my Cricut vinyl, I do like to take it out of the package. So I'm opening this and the reason I haven't opened it yet is because I do also want to share one other thing with the vinyl. So when you open your vinyl, if you are new To using your Cricut. If it's actual Cricut vinyl, it will always come with instructions. So, when I first started, I don't keep these anymore, and I've and I've since gotten rid of my instructions just for space. But when I first started, I used them often. So I used to, I would take my instructions and I would fold them over so that I could see them. Take the little piece of tape on there. And I actually put them in a binder. And I'm gonna show you. So this is my binder and now I use this binder for my scrap materials. However, what I did initially as I was learning, I had these page protectors in there and I would take my instructions, put it in the in there, make sure that I wrote on, you know, what they were instructions for. I could put another one on the back side or I could keep the Cricut page on the back side. So I kept all my instructions in there so that I could remember how to use my different vinyls. So while I have this out, I want to show you. The other thing is I am very much about no waste. This is a fun hobby. However, it is extremely expensive at times, especially when you wanna do so much good stuff and it takes multitude of colors and types. So in my binder, I again, I have these page protectors. And so what I do is I keep all of my scrap vinyl in here. Scrap pieces that I'm not doing, I put it, I like to cord it, color coordinate it. So when I need a small piece of vinyl for a project, I will come in here and so this is all HTV pieces that's why there's multiple colors in there together so but I come in and I will see oh do I have a small piece in that color so this is a great storage solution for your different vinyls and then also for instructions for your Cricut materials all right, so now as we open this, I love the foil. Take off the tape. So I unroll it so you can see this foil comes in nice, really big pieces. So the one thing, the reason why I wanted to not to open it with you is these, these tubes. These tubes are so sturdy and thick, I save all of them. So I'll show you. 
I have a little bin here where I keep them. And I use them for a multitude of different projects. So if you ever watch any of my, my cup videos, here's one of them. So all I did was hot glue this to a piece of cardboard. I use this to, if I'm doing hang resin, I use this. I use this, I'll put it on there and paint my cups. I'll put it on there to just spin them around and put different glitter. And then um, I have others. I have another one that I keep clean and I use it to hang stuff on to like put Mod Podge on it and stuff. They are so useful. And then before my husband made drying racks for me, I actually took a big piece of cardboard and I put like four of them on it and I would put my cups on there to dry and it worked perfectly. So I'm very fortunate. I have a husband that is super handy and makes lots of stuff for me. However, if you know, if you don't have that, it is a great way to make your own drying rack. Super simple, super easy, works fantastically. So don't throw away the cardboard insides. All right, I'm just gonna roll this little guy back up. Now, what I use to store my Cricut materials, I have two different things that I use. I showed you how I do my extra pieces. Now, I use these are from Ikea and they are just magazine holders. So I use this. I use this for excess stuff that I don't have enough room on my walls for, but also, so this is like the infusible ink here. All the infusible inks, I've got several boxes of them and I like to keep them in the square box because I like to keep them in the dark packaging. So I keep that in there. I've got extra transfer tape, different types. So that's what I store in there. But then I also use on my wall, let me show you. So first I'm gonna show you what it looks like if you just go to the store and buy it. So if you go to Ikea to buy these, this is what they look like. Okay, so all this is, it is actually a holder for plastic bags to reuse your plastic bags that you get from the store. And then it's very simple. It goes, it just goes together very easily. This little back comes up. I'm not going to put this together because I'm not using it right now, but this bends over to itself. That goes there. And then on the back, it has stuff to be able to hang it. So when it's together, this is what you get. So you can see, this is how I hang my Cricut materials. I use both the back and the front, and then I just slide my vinyl through there. So I, you can see, I keep them hung, hung up this way. So I hope that that was a helpful hint for you. And I hope you have a beautiful and blessed day. Thanks.